record's really gonna look good, Kathy. Think so? Yeah. Let's see. Help me out. You just hold the rod there yeah. and I'll thread it through. The whole experience having a baby is is a new one to me, and I really am going to rely on him a lot. I think the ruffle's okay? Yeah, I think that's great. You know, I'm going to be an integral part of the whole process, and, you know, that makes me feel more involved, and it'll prepare me more to be a good father, I think. Oh, that's good to get done. Okay. Now the crib. How about the mobile? I don't know how we realize there's going to be a new little person in there that we're responsible for taking care of, and it's really an overwhelming thought. This is really a nice one, isn't it? Mm hmm It's what Mom gave us. Especially to hear it call one of us mother, Mommy or Daddy, that's, that's really going to be overwhelming. <laughs> I feel like I want to breastfeed my baby. One reason is just to have that closeness and that quiet time with the, with my baby when I can just sit down and uh, have it with me, uh, fulfill its needs in a real close sort of way. It just sounds, the whole picture just sounds really nice to me. Some of you have asked me to talk about breastfeeding and so we're going to take uh, a part of this class to cover breastfeeding. We really do need to talk about it because while it's a very natural thing, it is not instinctive. Let me show you a little bit about the makeup of your breast, which is where milk will be made. Your breast is made up of glandular tissue, fatty tissue in between here, that determines the size of your breast, and connective tissue. In talking about milk production, we're concerned with the milk glands. And that's where milk is produced. Let me show you how that milk is produced. With the stimulation of your baby sucking on the nipple area, a message is sent to the brain, which tells the pituitary gland to send out a hormone, prolactin. That hormone makes milk in your milk glands. Now that's terrific. You have milk in your breast. The next thing is to get that milk to your baby. There's a second hormone, oxytocin, released as a result of your baby sucking. The second hormone causes contractions in the milk glands. That, in effect, squeezes milk out of the glands, down through the milk ducts, into milk pools right behind your nipple. As the baby then sucks, the baby's able to draw the milk into its mouth. This letting the milk down through the milk ducts is called the letdown reflex. That same hormone also causes your uterus to contract. You might experience that as a little bit of cramping. What's accomplished as a result of that is your uterus is encouraged back to its normal size. Your baby, your newborn, is very talented and is born with two important reflexes. One is he has a sucking reflex, likes to suck, wants to suck. The second is something called a rooting reflex, so that if you touch your baby's cheek on this side, your baby will go that way. Stimulating the baby on this cheek, baby will go that way and want to suck. So you may rub your nipple against the baby's cheek or, or use your finger.